Hey guys, Stinger 30 here. Um, I thought I'd better quickly show you guys my BMW power socket that I put on the bike. I've actually did this some time ago and I, I've been meaning to get around and do a video of it, but I just keep forgetting. Anyhow, I've remembered. So this is it. This is the official uh, BMW power socket for your Kawasaki Ninja 300 video. Um, now of course, I've already pulled the seat off. And um, it's the power commander there. So you lift up our doovie. And underneath here I've got that's my spare brake and clutch levers I've got for my bike. Um, it's always a wise idea. It was a um, get yourself a spare brake and spare brake and clutch levers um, for the bike. Pick them off eBay for bugger all. Throw them in the back because um, you know one day you're going to come land somewhere and you might drop the bike. And um, you're going to be stuffed because you haven't got spare brake and clutch levers so always carry spare brake and clutch levers doesn't matter what sort of bike it is buy them um, you can get them delivered to your door um, for well under 50 bucks do it now while we're in here this is actually the um this is the power cable here it's got a decent enough cord on it um, it's actually a proper little waterproof bmw power socket this fella here just lifts up a bit use some muscles get into there um, now we use a standard BMW one um, because they are actually designed for high current applications. Um, cigarette lighters are not designed for high current applications and no matter what anybody tries to tell you, they're not designed for it. Um, I've lost count the amount of times over the years where I've seen um, standard power sockets get melted because of the amperage they're actually trying to pump through it. They are not designed for it. So um, do the right thing, get yourself one of the BMW style power sockets. Um, there is plugs and stuff you can buy for them. Um, I've actually got a, um, a battery charger and I've actually modified the plugs on it. And I've actually got a standard BMW power plug I can plug into the bike. Um, and I've also got standard alligator clips to it so I can stand up just a, a standard battery as well. Um, it's not hard if, if you want. Um, if there's enough interest I can um, make a small video and put a vid video up on just on the the charger I've got and the small mods I've been and done to it so that you can um, see what I've been and done there. Um, but yeah it's not hard to wire it up um, there's just the um, um, got your anode and cathode wires that come back off the power socket you mount those back um, to the battery um, to get to your battery it's um, on the side there's a small screw on both sides. You pull the screw up on both sides. This cover comes off on both sides. Um, underneath the seat, um, around about there, I think it was for memory, there's a, um, another bolt that needs to be undone on both sides. Once that bolt's undone, the seat pulls straight off. Um, straight underneath your seat, like just, there's a, um, a small cover on top. Um, lift the cover up, um, and underneath that cover is the, the battery. Um, so you just got to connect your terminals up to the battery on the bike and you're ready to go. Um, if you're going to pull battery, battery terminals apart, make sure the bike is turned off. And I suggest that you start with the negative terminal first. So disconnect your negative terminal. Um, then disconnect the positive terminal. Connect up the positive terminal to your BMW adapter. Connect the positive terminal back to the battery. Then connect up your negative terminal to the battery and the reason we do that is if we go and try and disconnect the positive side of the battery first and the negative side is still connected up and we're using a screwdriver or whatever it is trying to unscrew it and we touch the frame of the bike we're going to have sparks and arcs and fireworks so we don't want to do that so a little bit of uh, common sense here to save ourselves going up in flames and sparks and arcs always a very clever idea so there you go. Um, as I said, yeah, if you have any um, have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And if you would like me to do up a small video on the battery charger, and I can drag the thing out and lay the thing down and show the cables and stuff I've been and done, so you can swap it between the BMW plugs um, as well as the standard alligator clips. Um, there are adapters and stuff you can plug into here. Um, I've actually got some. I've got another lead I've got made up that I carry in with me when I go touring. I just plug the um, BMW plug, there's another BMW plug I've got that plugs into here and that comes back to a standard power socket 
um, and I can charge up my mobile phone, laptop, you know, whatever I feel like that runs off 12 volts off a standard cigarette lighter, I can plug it straight into the back of the bike and um, put the bag on the back, run the cable out the back um, and leave whatever I want in the back, um, uh, on the back backpack and it can charge up while I'm riding um, and a system like that works beautifully. I've done that countless motorbikes in the past. I've done thousands upon thousands of kilometres in that sort of situation. Wet, dry, doesn't matter. It's never skipped a beat. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps. I hope that helps someone. Cheers, guys.